Hiya, you all right? Good morning, I'm just up. And what a dreary, wet, miserable morning it is. So I'm gonna make some soup, slow cooker soup. I've got my slow cooker out. Tomato soup, really good tomato soup. All you need, one large onion, just about a full, what do you call that? It's not a stick, what is it? Head, full head of celery, couple of large carrots, couple of cloves of garlic, one chicken stock pot, some hot water, and a few tins of tomatoes. Roughly chop everything. You don't have to chop the garlic. Tip it in your cooker. Pop in your chicken stock pot. Use vegetable if this is gonna be vegetarian. I like to use a chicken stock pot because I think it's got more flavor. But obviously if it's vegetarian, use vegetable one. You need some tins of tomatoes. We've got four tins, in there go. Fill each one half full with hot water and swill it out and pour the water in. Give it a mix together. Lid on. So that is literally it. That's it done. So it's in the slow cooker, it's on high. I like to put a bit of foil over the top because I don't think the seal is ever really sealed. So I like to put a bit of foil over the top and then the lid on. My slow cooker is from Aldi a few months ago, just because everyone always says, where did you get that slow cooker? It's a six and a half litre slow cooker. If you've got a smaller one, just half your ingredients, it's absolutely fine. So now I'm gonna go and get on with my day. I'll let you know how long it's been in for when I come back to it, because I'm not actually sure. Um, but yeah, I'll see you later. Right, this has had six hours. Let's have a look. Now that smells gorgeous. It's ready, it's been in for six hours. Now I'm just gonna blend it with my hand blender. Now I should have said put a pinny on. I've just put a pinny on because you know what tomato sauce is like for getting on your clothes. You can't get it out, can you? There, now it's nice and smooth, but for me it's a bit thick. So I'm gonna put a bit more water in. We need a little bit of sugar as well, about a tablespoon of sugar. Mix it in. There, now that's lovely. That's a lovely consistency we've got there. Now taste it, you have to taste it. You need to know what it tastes like. That's good, that's beautiful. You can absolutely leave that there. That's perfect. But I prefer cream of tomato, so I'm gonna put a little bit of double cream in. Only a little bit, only 100 mils. And 100 mils isn't a lot in this much soup. It's only a little bit. There, that looks perfect. Taste it again. That's it there, right there, that's beautiful. That is a really good tomato soup. And you've got this big dish for not very much money at all. And your slow cooker is a really economical way of cooking. It's cheap, it's cheaper than your cooker. Even to have this on all day is cheaper. Let's dish up. How gorgeous is that color? Now we're having this for our tea. We're having it with, I've got a cheese bloomer, just from Tesco. A cheesy bread and tomato soup. That's nice. And I'm putting it, do you like my board? Northern Nick head chef at the Woodmass household. I've got it for Christmas off Olivia and Amelia. I'm fair chuffed with it. So I'll pop my bread on there. And I've got a couple of croutons put on the top you can make your own if you want but it's only 50 pence for a bag I'm gonna put a drizzle of cream on the top just to make it look nice not much just a little bit and a few croutons how gorgeous is that I can't wait to tuck in let's give it a try just put a little piece of this bread Lovely, it's full of cheese. A little dip. 
Oh, that's nice. so warming really is good that's lovely beautiful honestly give this a go if like me you've got tomato soup lovers in your house they'll love this they absolutely will love this great for the freezer if you're making a lot of it freeze it in batches great lunches I'll take this to work. I'm going to dish this up for everyone else now so that they can enjoy it too. Whatever you're doing, have a brilliant day and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and share. Bye.